Hi, this is Judith again at the Baltimore Library, and I'm going to read you a trickster's tale. Um, trickster tales are uh, about creatures that are clever. They like to scam, bamboozle, and con their fellow creatures into something or a predicament for them to have a better outcome, whether it be more food or more sleep or more riches, whatever it may be. Um, this is from John and Caitlin Matthews' uh, book with several stories in it. And um, the first one is called A Hill of Beans, which is a, um, uh, the woodcuts are uh, beautiful uh, illustrations for this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, read the story from Japanese mythology. Uh, and the hare plays a trick on his friends. One sunny morning, hare, otter, monkey, and badger were out and about looking for trouble when they saw a man with a heavy sack walking along the road. Let's play a trick on the peddler, said hare. What shall we do, said badger. Watch this, said hare, and he raced off in a cloud of dust. He jumped out in front of the peddler and danced for him, hitting the ground with his big hind feet and jumping around like a clown. The peddler, deciding to catch his amazing animal, put down his sack and raced after the hare. But as he ran around the corner, the wily creature sped off so quickly that the trees bent over as he passed. Before the peddler could return to his sack, hare's three friends had grabbed it and dragged it away. Later, they met to view the spoils and decide how to divide them. When they emptied the sack, they found a block of salt, a woven mat, a little water wheel, and a big bag of beans. Hare, as usual, had the most to say. I know how we should divide these things, he said. Otter, you live in the water and love crabs. You should have the salt because salted crab is really tasty. Agreed. And monkey, you should have the bat. You sleep on the bare rocks and branches all the time. The mat will make you much more comfortable. Agreed, said monkey smiling. As for you, dear badger, Hare said, you should have the water wheel because it will whirl and twirl at the entrance of your den and make it most interesting. Oh, greed, said Badger. And then, that just leaves the beans for me, said Hare, looking gloomy. Oh, well, I suppose I can take and make do. Otter went back to the river with his block of salt and dropped it into the water. But before he found a single crab to eat, it melted away. Monkey took the woven mat and laid it out carefully on the rock. And then he curled up and tried to go to sleep. But every time he nodded off, the mat slipped off the rock and Monkey woke up with a shock on the hard ground. And Badger, well, he took the water wheel and placed it at the entrance of his den. Then he lay down and watched and watched and waited for it to turn. But of course, with no water, it just stayed completely still. All three animals realized they had been tricked by hare. Hopping mad, they marched off to find their old friends. By this time, hare had eaten all of the beans until he couldn't manage another one. But he kept thinking, my friends are gonna be angry with me and pretty soon they'll come this way. Finally, hare came up with a clever plan. He took the leftover bean skins and stuck them all over his fat stomach. Soon after, Otter, monkey, and badger came marching along, looking very fierce. Hare lay down on the ground and began to moan, oh, oh, my poor stomach. I wish I hadn't eaten all those beans. Oh, look, they're bursting out of me. The animals saw the bean skins all over Hare's stomach and thought he must be in terrible pain. Well, we really were angry, they said, but now we just see you had the worst of it. We're sorry instead. They all went off home, leaving hair rolling on the ground and laughing till he almost burst. Ah, the tale of the trickster rabbit. And I don't know why, but a lot of the trickster tales have rabbits as your main character and usually the one that either wins or tricks everybody else. So in your packets, you have a mask that you can decorate that gives you um, a hair mask so that you can be your own hair trickster. So um, have a wonderful end of your summer and we'll see you next time. Bye.